Today, I wanted to play Samurai with a functional katana controller. And y'all, I am a fucking weeb. The original plan was to turn a real katana into a controller. Like I would just slam some joysticks and motion controls on top of a real one. However, uh, I don't want to end up on livestream fails for accidentally cutting off my own arm. So I ended up finding the coolest controller ever made to replace a real katana. This is the Automusha 3 Katana Controller. Like a real PS2 controller in the shape of a katana. It does have all the functions of a PS2 controller, which makes modding it for 14 a bit easier. But I want to be a total nerd and I want to make the motions of swinging my katana Katana activate my abilities. As a reminder, this controller was made in 2004, two years before the Nintendo Wii revolutionized motion controls. So modding the motion controls of an 18-year-old controller was kind of tough, but I at least got it to work with my basic rotations. So it's pretty simple. Our rotations are all motion control based. Um, if I want to set it up, I just have to set it up through my controller and swing. And like that stuff is, this is cool. This is where I'm an actual weeb, right? <laughs> All right, y'all, there's one more cool function to this controller that I dubbed the Weeb Attack. I wanted to make something that involves drawing the katana out of the sheath to use this ability. Once the katana is in the position, you can press the ability to queue it up. During the cast time, you need to draw your katana or the ability will be interrupted. It will make more sense if I show it off, so this is what a failed input looks like. I don't do anything, it does not go through. Like, you can tell that I am, I'm getting interrupted. However, if you spend your night studying the blade and do everything right, it should look like this. Okay, let's try this again. Hey! <laughs> it went through! <laughs> If you thought you were a nerd, trust me, I'm the final boss of being a weeb. There were some downsides to this controller being almost 20 years old. The joysticks were a bit rough, so my movement would just stutter every once in a while. Also, sometimes during combat, the blade will just kind of fly off the controller randomly, and it was it was kind of fun to look at. But here I am. So, there's this thing. Uh... But in the end, the katana control lasted the entire stream, so I'll say that's a job well done. If you want to see more of the samurai gameplay, check out the VOD channel. Until then, I'm off to finish one hell of a build for the next video.